Top 5 Terrific Tips to Fight Germs. Number 5. Everyone sneezes. Even some animals do. Check it out. When you sneeze, germs can go everywhere. What's the best way to cover your sneezes to stop germs from spreading? Now would be a good time to pause the video and think about it. Okay, you ready? If you don't have a tissue nearby, always try to sneeze into your elbow, like this. That way, you can cover your nose and mouth without getting germs all over your hands. Do this when you cough, too. One fun way to remember this is to pretend you're a vampire lifting your cape. Put your arm over your nose and mouth just like this. You can also pretend you're an elephant swinging your trunk. Just swing your arm across your face before sneezing or coughing. <coughs> Number four. Every time you wash your hands, you should wash them for at least 20 seconds. That's a pretty long time. What could you do to make those 20 seconds more fun? One idea is to hum a song for 20 seconds. Some 20 second songs are the happy birthday song, if you sing it twice, the let it go chorus from Frozen, or the Imperial March from Star Wars. When you're done with the song, you can stop washing. Number three. When people wash their hands, they often miss some spots. What parts of the hands do you think some people might forget to wash? Let's find out. The green areas on this man's hands show where germs are. He didn't wash his hands yet, so there are lots of germs. Now he's washed his hands, but only for a few seconds not the 20 seconds like you're supposed to. Look carefully and notice which parts of his hands still have the green germs on them. And now he's washed his hands for a full 20 seconds. All the green is gone. His hands are now germ-free. So remember, wash the areas by your fingertips and thumbs. Those are the places where most people forget to wash. Number two, biting your nails can bring germs from your hands into your body. How could someone remind themselves not to bite their nails? One idea is to try putting stickers on their nails as a reminder not to bite them. Another idea would be to dip their fingers into something that tastes gross like sour lemon juice. That way, when they try to bite their nails, it tastes like a lemon. Even if you don't bite your nails, there are other ways germs can get in too. So try not to touch your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. And also try to avoid chewing on things like pencils. We all touch our faces throughout the day, so just try your best. And now, the last one. Here's an experiment someone did. They touched a piece of bread before washing their hands and put it in a plastic bag. Then they washed their hands for 20 seconds and touched a different piece of bread. After a few weeks, here's what happened. The piece of bread on the left was touched with the washed hands and the piece of bread in the middle was touched with the dirty hands. Notice which one grew mold. The bread on the right wasn't touched at all, 
The person used this in the experiment to make sure it was the dirty hands that caused the mold for the middle piece of bread. The person also took another piece of bread and wiped it on a computer. Here's how much mold grew on that piece of bread after a few weeks. So it's probably a good idea to wash your hands for 20 seconds after touching surfaces that a lot of other people touch, like a computer. Thanks for watching. Stay curious and see you next time.